Here goes with the first match in Simple Life versus it's the boy. Simple Life, which I thought was using Chip, is actually using none other than Brisket. So let's see how this pans out. Uh, maybe change characters in the tune, but then again, his Brisket is very high level. 5,000, as I could see before the match started, so probably a very strong Bridget at that. And as you can see, our Tsuboi Kun is currently using uh, another than the Slayer. So really looking forward to this. Yo, Karu-san, yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Ah, Usui-san mo yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yo, Mawari, ça va bien? On lui chiller, hype, ça va, je profite de l'orga et de ta... de ta... ça va pas. Okay, let's see how this spins out now. As you can see, Tsuboi looking pretty good in the corner right there. Ooh, a little bit too far right there to get the uh, ground slam. He does get the knockdown, but here we go with Simple Life waking up with the reversal. Gets his uh, turn back. Here we go with Simple Life in the corner. Goes for a very nice Roman cancel setup right there. Makes it so that it's going to be an overhead, but really it's uh, Slayer low with, well, Tsuboi low with the 2S. あ、次にえ、スレ、ソシオネ、スレ、スレアですよね。めちゃくちゃ言いにくいですよね。この石穂さん。え、今日もよろしくお願いしますね。スレア。スレア。めちゃ言いにくいですけど。はい、and <笑> That was a very, very nicely done by him. He should be able to finish it off without a ground. Oh, without a... Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't let Tsuboi alive! You might live to regret it. Here we go with the Paul Dunker. Bunker. Oh, he gets the... Oh, he gets the conversion. He's gonna get a hard knockdown with the Wild Assault. Is he gonna go for it? There's no safe jump against the DP of Bridget, but still manages to get the command grab. So just for your information, guys, the DP of Bridget is a 9 frame startup and it's not it's too quick for uh for Slayer to be able to uh save jump it. So if you see a Slayer jumping on you, uh if you play Brisket first and foremost, or if you have a 9 uh, frame DP, if a uh, Slayer jumps on you right after a hard knockdown uh post uh how do you say wall splat, just wake up DP. You're gonna take your turn back and you're gonna blow his safe jump off. Well, it's not record. Well, of course, there are ways to bait the DP by making it so that you think he's gonna do a, you're gonna do like a safe jump. But if you are positive that the Slayer does not know that it's not safe against nine framers, you can just go for it and punish him for it. So just for information. Anyways, here we go with Simple Life taking it one zero as of now. Let's see if uh, Tsuboi can. Oh, Tsuboi is gonna. Tsuboi is definitely going to pick his chip right now, so it's not a safe jump. If yeah. Well, it's a save jump against 11 frame DP, so for example, for Kai, Kai has an 11 frame DP, so it's safe for him, but it's safe if you use it against him, basically. And there are other uh, characters as well who, for example, wake up with their uh, overdrive. So basically, if the overdrive is is like more than 9 frame, then Slayer can uh, save jump it. But for every single other uh, characters who have like 9 frame reversals, they will uh, be, uh, well, hitting a Slayer out of his jump, which is in this case indeed not going to be a safe jump as you so kindly uh, told us, Mawari. <laughs> and here we go with ooh, simple life forcing Tsuboi to pop the burst. Here we go with a default of the teddy bear. Oh, nice trade in favor of simple life. Fails to get the juggle though. Gonna go for the uh, jump start of my heart. We go with the juggle of the yo yo. Is a little bit too far from the corner in order to get the well splat. That being said, there is a huge life deficit. What was that from Tsuboi? This is so unfortunate. He did get the knockdown, forcing finally Simple Life to pop the burst. Gets the juggle and the corner carry goes for the overhead. Nice blocks from Simple Life. And here we go with the DP and Simple Life taking it yet again. Very nicely done. So let's see how this pans out. On to the next round. For now, Simple Life is looking pretty chill, not going to lie. Oh, okay, Simple Life just trying to start their yo yo game. Baiting Tsuboi into tr uh, trying to do a, a 6P. Wow, hitting him in the air from the return of the yo-yo too. That was pretty good. I don't know if it was intended, but definitely working out in favor of a simple life. Here we go the grab from Tsuboi. Goes for the Gamma Blade. Baits the DP this time around. Definitely not letting it go for free. Gets some pretty decent amount of damage right there. Should be able to get there. Hard knockdown. Let's see what is going to be the, the follow-up. Oh, okay, no punish right there on the back, uh, on the back, uh, what's it called, on the back, um, good boy, the 
Just step back. Good lord, back dash. Good lord, I'm so sorry. The music is maybe too loud. Oh, really? Let me check real quick. Let me check, let me check. Uh, let me check. That would be surprising. Are you sure? I think the music is fine, personally. Yeah, I'm listening to my beautiful voice right now. I think the music is perfectly fine, personally. If there are other viewers who can confirm that the music is okay, I would be uh, more than happy to... Um, well, I would be very grateful. Uh, wait one second. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Anywho's, here we go with... Oh, the far slash right there from Tuboy getting the juggle. Should be able to get the Alpha Blade and the mix-up in the corner. No, gets the uh, heavy knockdown, though. And here was going to be the follow-up. Oh, we tried to go for a command grab, but unfortunately for them, Simple Life Reddit just jumped straight out of harm's way. No worries, Mawadi. If you can hear me, then it's fine. I just, I, I made it so that by the the mic is a little bit, uh, how do you call it, a little bit louder now. So hopefully you'll you'll hear me a little bit better. Hopefully we'll see. Anyways, good stuff from Simple Life, taking a pretty nice lead right now, 2-0, 2 boy, on the end of his wits right now. Let me check the bracket real quick, I actually didn't check the bracket at all. Uh, hopefully nobody called me, but yeah, it seems to be the case, so it's perfect. You're welcome, Maori, no problem. Anyways, here we go with the, ooh, the burst. And back to the neutral, you can see Simple Life really, really eager to start their game with the yo-yo, but here we go with Tsuboy in the entire with the juggle, gets the wall break! Yes, he does. Uh, didn't have any tension or burst gauge in order to secure a hard knockdown. Catches the back dash with the jumping H. Goes straight into the... Oh, chai come out! <laughs> I got it right this time. Good stuff, and here we go with the safe jump. Ah, yeah, you can see Simple Life trying to bait the DP from... Ooh, yo, that 2S though, and manages to bait the DP. Couldn't quite get, like, a good conversion. You could see Tsuboy trying to bait, I suppose, the burst, but either Simple Life uh, didn't commit to the burst or uh, didn't have time because Tsuboy canceled into the uh, overdrive too quickly. So it's either one or the other. I do believe Simple Life probably wanted to hold on to there. Uh, burst for the next round, which would uh, be which would be completely commandable. And here we go with the far HS right there, blowing whatever attempt Tsuboy was uh, trying to do right there to uh, win the neutral. And here we go, no cancel into the uh, overdrive. Unfortunately for Tsuboy, simple life back to this cat and mouse game goes with the uh, yellow Roman cancel. Didn't want to commit to attacking. Ooh, yo, that was a very hard read from Tsuboy. Unfortunately, couldn't quite catch. Simple Life pressing any buttons there, and Simple Life, man, using this opportunity to punish. Uh, well, actually not punish, but was able to uh, keep Tsuboy in the corner, given that Tsuboy had to uh, cancel the animation of his super in order not, uh, well, to get punished. And unfortunately, that left him in the corner, but finally Tsuboy managing to get one round. Finally, one on the board, one more in order to tie it up, but this is definitely a, um, how do you call it, a... Um, a steep hill to climb, if I might say. Definitely not impossible because, well, Tsuboy is a very strong chip player. But then again, Simple Life is no slouch, very strong player as well. And uh, to add to that, Simple Life, if I'm not mistaken, used to be a chip main as well. So he definitely has the character knowledge and the, well, not the matchup, but at least the character knowledge uh, under his belt. So let's see how Tsuboy can manage to... Oh lord, very nice entire using the standing P. Here we go with the Alpha Blade. Goes for the mix. Nice blocks from Simple Life. Even got the um uh just defend. Just uh just block. I'm sorry, just defend. What the hell is that? Just block from Tsuboy. Tsuboy again with the jump in. Simple Life not checking the these jump in at all. And Tsuboy should be able to get the kill with the overdrive. Make sure to use it in order to prevent and to deny any attempt from Simple Life to uh, burst right here again. We are back to the same, uh, well, the same pattern. Suboy leading with the first round. Definitely, we can see, we can smell, and we can feel a uh, shift in the momentum right now. It's all about Suboy right now. That being said, do not count Simple Life out. Very strong Bridget player. Ah, managed to get the opening. Should be able to get no wall break right there, but the wake up with the DP from Suboy. Good lord, okay, nice. Nice use of the far S right there from Simple Life was able to catch Tsuboy being a little bit too eager to get in. 
And just like this simple life on set point, is he gonna be able to seal the deal? We shall see. Oh, again with the forest man, definitely uh, hitting Chip out of his uh, his forward uh, HS. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, simple life definitely fishing for this. But this time around, Tsubo using the very very quick speed of Chip manages to uh, close the distance between both him and uh, and simple life. Eventually. Oh, scoring him a heavy knockdown. Finally, Simple Life forced to pop the burst. Simple Life, ah, definitely bleeding right now. Oh, manages to get the whiff punish using the uh, jump start my heart. Kick start my heart, I, I forgot how you call it. But anyways, fine. Oh, you can see Simple Life trying to bait the DP. No, he got the other way. No, but it should be fine with the RC. And the wall splat came right at the opportune moment. Simple Life. Oh, uh, uh, next battle is gonna be Roy versus Hanyua, just as I explained before, Roy extremely strong. Uh, usually, <laughs> he plays Saul, but this time around he decided to uh, use none other than... Uh, none other than... Uh, brisket, so let's see how this turns out. Let me just... Yeah, do this. Okay, and as you can see, there's a lot of Brisket players today, uh, so I don't know if there's like been a change in the common uh, understanding of the tier list of Guilty Gear Strive or if there's like been a shift in who's considered a uh, top tier in Japan currently but we can see a lot of uh, a lot of a brisket representation today and as you can see Roy using all of the tools in the book but Haniwa manages to take his turn back uses the Wild Assault in order to get a, an extension of their combo goes straight into the Ventania for a guaranteed hard knockdown was it gonna be the wake up going for oh no he could have finished it right here right there but they didn't believe in the clean jump in right there that was really unfortunate and just like this roy manages to steal it right at the end this is so unfortunate and here we go with the low this time around from roy manages to get the schmix in let's see how this pans out and here we go with the wall break and roy gets the forest counter hit Okay, let's see how this spins out. Very nicely done right there. Kick stop, kick, kick jump my, kick, kick start my heart. I, I freaking forget out what it's called. <laughs> Anyways, okay, here we go with the, with the wall pressure right there from Roy should be able to get the wall spot and does and manages to get the first match extremely convincingly right there. Honeywell was kind of lost, not going to lie. But then again, what can you do against such a good player as Roy? But. Even gods can bleed, especially in the Blue Ro Rojo Cup. We have had a ton of upsets ever since I first started casting in this tournament. So, of course, we're not uh, we're not completely safe from seeing a one currently. Maybe Haniwa will manage to shift the tide of battle. We shall see. That being said, Roy goes with a really like oh good lord, yeah, the pressure is real. Very hard for Haniwa to do anything really substantial right now, trying to get back his turn or whatnot. Being said, here we go with the 2S for uh, the scale. Very nicely done by Roy. Takes one round yet again. Okay, no entire right there. Honeywell is in. Ah, I couldn't quite confirm the hit right here. Tried to go for an extension using the Wild Assault, but Roy was just content to just block, not overextend. He's got the mix in. He's got the pressure on. And Roy with the confirms, but drops it. Unfortunately, probably not the best timing that he did and here we go with ah the block strings ah roy jumping out of the pressure oh wow what the hell was that okay what happened was that a, an os what the hell was that wait 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 was that a freaking os that was sick what the hell was that i don't know what roy did but definitely worked that was crazy stuff right here i've never quite seen this before anyways that being said here we go with the 2k2 d Roy forcing Hanima to pop the burst. Hanima finally... Finally forcing Roy to pop the burst. Ah, the jump in a little bit too far to get the uh, cross up, unfortunately, for Hanima. Forced to block yet again in the corner. Hanima trying to dash his way out of pressure. Mm, yeah, definitely looking... Yeah, definitely scared of the wake up DPs right there from Roy. And Roy doing a good job of um, of conditioning his opponent. His opponent, and very nice with punish right there from Haniwa. Yeah, Roy not committing to attacking on his way down. Probably noticing that Haniwa had some 
spare tension bars in order to uh, uh, in order to cancel his animation. Very nice conversion. Too far to get the kill though. Didn't quite get the wall spot, but gets the kill with the 2S. And Roy, just like this, is on a match point. Who's going to take it? Roy is definitely looking very good right now. Goes for the low, manages to get the opening, gets the juggle. Goes for the extension using the wall assault and gets the wall break. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Yeah, you can see right there Roy using the 2S trying to fish the dashes from Haniwa, but Haniwa holding strong. Finally getting something going. Drops the combo right at the end. Unfortunately, could not get the wall spot, but gets the counter hit. The close S thanks to the counter hit of the 2K. Nice stuff right there. Nice stagger pressure from Roy. Should be able to get the wall break. And go straight into the into the uh, Roger. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh wow, that gonna hit? I think it's a, yeah, it's a safe jump. Oh, okay, good stuff from from Roy. Knows his safe jump right here. But I knew I thankfully had another had an additional bar of tension. Ah oh, no, and drops it. You don't want to drop it right here, bro. Oh, okay, and uh, invests in his wild assault in order to keep the pressure going. And finally. Manages to take one round. See how this spins out. Again, Roy going low. Definitely noticing that Hanyo is not checking them lows. And Roy with the Wild Assault for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Goes for the save jump again. Yes, the 4 HS counter hit. A little bit too far to get uh, to get the juggle though. Wow, that was sick. And goes for the freaking tab dust with the Roman cancel. It's almost done. One more hit is all that's required. Ah, and the grab for the kill, and just like this, man, Roy sends Hanyo in the loser's bracket. Without Potemkin, wouldn't be very, would, wouldn't be FAB, I think. I don't think this uh, individual has played another character than Potemkin ever since he started playing Guilty Gear. And please uh, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. I feel like the character that defines FAB is definitely Pot. It wouldn't be normal for him to use somebody else. It's like if Daruno used anybody else than Eno, obviously. Yeah, it wouldn't feel normal. Anyways, here we go with the close-up pressure from FAB. Gets the juggle. Oh, Lord, and forces, yeah, forces Kohide to pop the Ventania right there, right in the block strings. Wow, FAB with the RC. Gets a full combo. One more hit is all that's required. Careful there. Kohide is want to use the Ventania whenever he feels like it, but unfortunately, a little bit too late for that. FAB gets the Potemkin Buster for the kill. Very nicely done. And Kohide trying to find his way in. Gets hit by the butt slam right here. Okay, Kohide uh, investing into his burst gauge right there to force FAB uh, off of him. Here we go, the close up pressure. FAB getting with punish very beautifully right there from Kohide. Should be able to get the wall break. And does. Very nicely done. Yeah, dedicated character indeed, Maori. Let's see how this spins out. And the slider head right here. Wow, Kohide dashing straight into pressure. Ooh, and you can see FAB looking for them backdash and punishing accordingly. Is this death? This is probably death. Yeah, yes, it is. And you could e also see that FAB uh, used his Wild Assault in order to deny Kohide uh, his uh, burst potential and to get a guaranteed kill in the process. Very, very wise choice right here from FAB as expected from him. And here we go with the whiff punish from Kohide. Definitely not out of this. First round, uh, first match went incredibly fast, but let me assure you, Kohide often loses the first match and then just adapts to it. He has like a... He has a, um, uh, a habit of doing so. So let's see if he's capable of doing so against a behemoth as uh, such as FAB. We shall see. Very nice use. Oh, wow. Can, can you see this? Raw uh, pod buster <laughs> in the air. Probably trying to uh, read that Kohide was going to uh, was going to uh, dash right at that particular moment, but unfortunately, Kohide just held onto his patience and didn't do so. And just like this, Kohide took the first round very nicely done. Here we go, the back Mega Fist. Oh lord, and the instant blocks from FAB, bro. It is cray cray, man. Yeah, you can see FAB using every single tool in the book in order to use it efficiently and to his advantage as well. Let's see how this spins out. Oh, Lord. Oh, good stuff right there from Kohide using the quick, the swiftness of the aerial anti-air in order to uh, continue putting pressure on FAB. FAB found the opening, though, and this is going to do a ton of damage. 
No wall break though. Yeah, you can see if we probably afraid that 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 Koita was going to um was going to pop the Ventania on wake up, which would have probably been the case. Any other time. Lord, you're going to big baby with fist and a trade in favor of Kohide. Kohide manages to up to put one on the board. Oh, actually, it was the other way around. My bad. It was one. Yeah, it was a uh, one Kohide, one, and now it was one FAB and now one Kohide. My bad. It was the other way around. That being said, here we go with. Uh, so the scores are uh, good now. <laughs> They're actually um, correct. So Kohide forcing uh, FAB to pop the burst. Here we go to close up pressure in the corner. Very nice with punish from Kohide. This dude is so good at wood punishing. It is cray cray. Here we go with the Ventania and the hard knockdown for that matter. Closest, closest. Here we go with the grab. Giovanna is a grappler after all. And very nice use of the tab dust in order to get the opening and Roman canceling for securing the kill for Kohide. Very nicely done. Ah, uh, FBB with the jump in though. Close up, close up, yo. Yeah, FAB thankfully didn't get open that easily though. Goes for the butt, uh, the butt. I, really, I need to find a, a name for this. Oh lord! Almost got the punish on the golden, uh, Roman can on the golden burst though. The butt fall, yeah. And here we go, the pot buster! Is that gonna kill? No, not enough bars in order to get the Roman cancel afterwards to get the extension station. But afflict is all that is needed for FAB to secure this round. Okay, one more around for either one of them to get the advantage and look at the damage look at the combos yo fab yo with the corner carry who said that who said that pop does not have corner carry wow and this is probably it actually probably not no 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 almost very close though fab with the heavy knockdown the heavy the heavy knockdown yeah and gets the hit the kill with the butt fall good stuff from fab up two to one, definitely not totally one-sided, but you could definitely feel the uh, how do you call it? the tide of battle shifting in one in one side at one side. That being said, here we go again with Kohide and the whip punishes. Man, you cannot test this man. Here we go the slider head. Kohide with the spinning bird, another spinning the uh, cannon drill gets the freaking punish on the tech attempt. Gonna get the wall break with the Ventania. Yep. Good. Not enough to kill. I wonder if uh, Koide could have uh, used. Okay, goes for a tap dust for a clean kill right at the end. Very nicely done. Okay, Koide with the advantage on this current match. Not on this set though. Ah man, FAB with the jump ins, yo. And look at the damage, the holy freaking lord. 75% of your life is gone, sir. What are you gonna do about it? Oh, again, a big hammer fall. Tried to bait the bird. Yeah, he definitely went. Oh no, too far to get the follow up with the flying pot. And this is gonna hurt, yo. Almost Rob and Tanya. Oh, it's okay, decent damage, all things considered. Okay, ah, a little bit too early right there on the attack. And you can see a FAB trying. Oh lord! Almost got the hit in. Gets the hit with the white wild assault. Ah, everybody loves this move. <laughs> Good stuff from FAB though. Very nice uh, reads. Tries to get the knockdown with the slider head. Finally gets it. And here we go with the slider head. Very nice back dash from Kohide manages to get the punish on the slider head. Uh, yeah, no one tires though. This is really unfortunate. Big Mega Fist gonna get punished. Ooh, okay, finally using the Nasante. And you're good. The juggles too far to get the last hit in though. Okay. Good stuff from Koi. Did not. Ooh, he didn't. Oh, Lord. Is that gonna kill? Is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Kohide, yo. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Two to two. Who's going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see. Good freaking lord. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. What is going to be the outcome of this set? We shall see. FAB using right at the start of the round. The white Roman, the white, uh, the white wild assault in order to get the pressure going. Very nice user to just defend. Are you serious? This man is not human. It is crazy. Good stuff from FAB gets the wall brick with a large amount of damage. 
put on to Kohide. Kohide with the whip punishes though. I'm still in awe, man. Manages to get the opening using the tap dust. Should get the wall break. That being said, look at FAB. He has two bars of tension. I smell, uh, nope. I was gonna say a, uh, what's it called? Oh, well, well, well. Yep, yeah, this is death. This is double death. Even at the end, yeah, here we go. Right into the uh, reflector. And FAB on set point. What is gonna happen? We shall see. A big slider head. Fortunately for Kohide, he blocked it. Kohide getting the hit in. Gotta get the wall break. They're looking pretty good. Already got FAB down half his life, but then again. Pot only needs one opening to get to to get 75% off of you. And here we go. Look at this. Already one opening and it's half of your life gone. Oh, and FABO. FAB tried to go for another pot buster. The disrespect. No, no, it's not disrespect. It's a it's a re, obviously, but holy freaking large. Spam around. How could I am a very, very strong Kai player, by the way. Made top eight. Uh, on plenty different occasions when the Broja Cup was actually stacked, so 32 players still managed to do the top 8, so extremely strong player. Uh, definitely have high hopes for him. If anything, uh, probably he has the better chance of winning because he's been playing Kai way longer than uh, Uslayer, than Usui has been playing Slayer. So let's see how this pans out. Anyway, on to the next battle, and as you can see, Hakure Lemu taking the Lead forcing Slayer and forcing Lucy to pop the burst. Uh, Lucy a little bit too far to get the follow up of the uh, hard, uh, the um, what's called the counter right there. On his, um, how do you call it? The um, the dandy rush. I forgot how you call it. Hum, uh, hum, uh, hum uh, hush, mapa hush, mapa rush. I, I forgot. Anyways. Here we go, and Usui almost got the opening, but too far for his close S to connect, unfortunately. And as you can see, how could they manage to take the first round very convincingly? It's definitely not over till it's over. Mappa Punch, yeah, here you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mamari, thank you. Oh, very nice follow up right there on the Mappa Punch. As you can see, using the uh, counter hit in order to uh, stick one more Mappa Punch in and add on the damage. Here we go, the jump out. How could they Oh, finally getting the opening with the... Oh, wow, that was pretty crazy. Good stuff right there. Hagen Edimu getting the grab. Goes for the safe jump. Uh, almost getting the direct line in. Usui with the delay map punch getting the uh, the counter hit. Hagen Edimu very, very patient. Does not want to work. Stan gets hit by the 2H though. Yo, that was so sick. Oh, okay, again with the 2H. This time around. Oh lord, yeah, you can see Usi trying to get a little bit cheeky, gets hit by the aerial grab. How can I again with the grab? Well, you can see, yeah, uh, Usi did not want to get hit by it. Oh lord, if at first you don't succeed, <laughs> just go up and do freaking Mappa Punch again. Good stuff from Usi, managed to get the hit right there. Oh lord, and how could I answering with the DP? Definitely did not like how uh, the previous round went. Goes for the food or dark. Uh, yeah. Oh, and the CEO with the 2H. The 2H has a crazy range. It's also disjointed, so uh, Usui can actually pressure their opponent without, uh, yeah, without committing too much. Oh no! Usui dropping the combo. It is actually pretty hard to do. Not going to lie. The, the timing is a little bit uh, finicky. Nice blocks from Usui though. Oh, Usui not committing too much, but getting grabbed. For the kill, very nicely done by Hagure Leimu. Takes the first round. Well, the first match, actually. Let's see if uh, Usui is going to stick to his guns. And actually, he is. Okay, that's cool. He's definitely here for the entertainment. Wants to entertain the most reason why he's using the newly um, the newly released character in order to provide as much entertainment as possible. And here we go with uh, the blocks here from Usui. Usui trying to get the 2 age, but this time around... Getting punished with the stun dipper by Hakure Demu. Hakure with the cross under. Getting an, optimi an optimal combo. Goes for the grab. A very nice take right there from Hakure. From, uh, from Usui. And unfortunately gets grabbed in the end. So let's see if uh, Usui can shift the tides of battle. Right now it's definitely looking in favor of Hakure. Uh, Hakure with the conversion. Goes for the safe pressure. Gets the freaking conversion off of the... Uh, 
off of the stun edge. Oh lord! And Hakuna Lame should be able to take it. Probably not. No. Due to the uh, wall break. Let's see. Hakuna Lame out for blood. I can't see Usui changing characters. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you will probably uh, give a try to Abba. Probably. I, I definitely see him doing so. Wow, Hakuna Lame with the grab, yo. This dude, yo. Very nicely done. Okay, then we're taking a pretty nice lead. What is Usui gonna do? Usui probably gonna... No, Usui sticking to Slayer. Okay, okay. That's good, that's good. I respect it. Definitely respect it. Big map up punch right there. Gets the corner. Gets the close S. Forcing Hakure Lemu to pop the burst. Hakure Lemu, the cross under, gets the corner positioning. <clears throat> Tries to, yeah, bait some sort of reaction from Usui. But Usui not giving it to him very easily. Unfortunately, gets... Uh, scooped out of the air thanks to the Fudra Dark. Here we go with the positive bonus from Akure Leimu. Should be able to do a ton of damage. Definitely not enough to kill, but at least he's going to score a heavy knockdown. Oh lord. And here we go with the grab. And is, yeah, just enough to kill with the OTG. Very good stuff from Akure Leimu on set point. Let's see how this spins out. Uh, let's see, trying to get yeah the jump in. Oh no, too late for the the pal bunker. Couldn't quite connect right after the 2H. Okay, nice stuff right there. Finally. Let's see, Slayer starting something. And here we go, the map a punch. And Hakuna Lemu, ooh, getting hit by the closest counter hit, yo! Okay, Usi getting the... No, yeah, this should be it. Oh, yeah, he did it. It's fine, it's fine. Good boom. Bonk. <laughs> Good stuff from Usi finally taking one round. Let's see if Usi can keep it up. And eventually, uh... Eventually tie it up. Ah, uh, nice closest right there to catch the bag dash attempt from Hakuna Ah, nice. No, Usui. Not Usui, but Hakune with uh, the conversion with the, the blue whiff punishes in. Right there, using the blue Roman cancel. Instant overhead. Very nicely done. Ah, nice. Nice check from Usui, but couldn't quite get a, a very nice punish, though. Just a single jab. Okay, and here we go with. Ah, this should be enough to kill. Yeah, good stuff from Usui. Not out of this yet. Finally puts one on the board. Let's see if Usui can bring it back. We shall see. Usui. And on to the next battle. Nice stick right there from Usui. Was able to get a pretty nice punish. Ah! Yeah, it is it. Again, how could I with the grab attempts, yo? Usui so just barely manages to uh, manage to to take it, and here we go the direct left for the wall break. Not gonna be a hard knockdown though. Wow, the Fudra Dark just went by almost, uh, caught Usi out of the air. Thankfully for him, it wasn't the case, but Usi still got caught by something else, and 30% of his life is gone. And here we go with the fake media attempt straight into the grab. How good they move on match point? Is he gonna be able to send Usi in the losers bracket? We shall see. Nice confirms from Hakure. Goes for the closest. Forcing reaction from Usi Slayer Slayer with damn Usi. Usi with the just defend, yo, just block. Managed to punish the direct right there. Okay, nice use of uh, the Roman, uh, the tension bar in order to uh, recover more quickly from his tick attempt. Hakure Lemu, you can see there Kai showing uh, Slayer that he has a better slide than he does. <laughs> Good stuff from Hakure. Okay, one more chance for Usi. Ah, oh, the 2HS straight into the freaking... Ah, oh, the Infinite Horizon. Yeah, boom! And this is gonna be death, yeah. Boom! Get out of here. Go do a... Uh, Go do, um, how do you say? Go visit the Earth. <laughs> Good stuff from, uh, from Usi. Very nice, uh, 
very nice uh, confirm. That being said, Hakure does have the advantage right now. He has complete uh, corner positioning with a lot of damage already dealt. Okay, Usui is out of the corner. It's definitely not over till it's over though. Nice grab from Usui. Oh lord. And Usui with the wall break. Deciding not to use his burst, and rightfully so in my opinion. Okay, one more hit. Okay, nice blocks from Musio. Even though he got uh Oh Okay, nice stuff. Okay, then we force pop the burst. He got the food dark in and Usi getting the hit right there. Noticing that Hakure was definitely going to go for a grab. And we have yet again a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Who's going to take it? Who's going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see. Very nice confirm right there from OC getting the grab, the, the command grab. And Hakure definitely not happy of having for um of having been grabbed right there. Answers with a grab of his own. Yeah, you can see. Oh, air grab for you, sir. OC Slayer in the corner. Finally forcing Hakure to pop the burst. Hakure Leimu with the 6p entire. Goes for the freaking 2s counter hit. Ah, again the forest man. Oh, gets the juggle. Not enough to kill. No bars in order to get the high free knockdown, but it's still fine. How could I move with the life lead? Goes for the grab yet again. One more run for How could I lay and she'll be sending Usui in the loser's bracket. Nice with punish right there from Usui. From uh, How could I? And the Fudra Dark 2 pin, Usi in the corner. Oh, it goes for the 2 8. No! And Usi again! Usi again, yo! Not confirming the rest and getting hit by the wake up DP right there from Hakure. Nice box from Usi, though. Not gonna lie. Ah, gets open, though, with the follow up. Oh, and the stun dipper for the save. Not enough to kill. Nah, that's not gonna be enough. Nice, the double direct but to build some tension bar. Nice grab. Wow, that was a cheeky grab. I'll try to go for the six age. For the for the command What am I talking about? For the simple life versus the FAB. And uh we'll be right back, guys. Okie dokie breads and cookie. Uh, let me just update the player match game as well because we have reached the winner's semi-final. <laughs> I'm so... Oh, sorry. Yeah, my my beautiful... Uh, my beautiful keyboard is currently in Japanese. Oh, here we go. Winner's semi-finals. Perfect. Yeah, today's tournament is going very, very quickly. We didn't have as much attendance as we did the previous time, but it is perfectly fine for me. It means that I can go to sleep earlier <laughs> anyways here we go with oh the pressure from simple life going for now oh, the fake garuda impact roaming cancel into the pod buster this is gonna do yep and it makes time very nice blocks right there from simple life force to pop the burst simple life with the life deficit and the round deficit as well finally finds the opening how do you freaking fight brisket with pod though this is something i really feel to understand but he's oh lord and fave fab trying to read to read the, the um a jump in right there from oh lord he believes in it he believes in it and the far s for the kill very nicely done bye uh simple life definitely not uh definitely not how do you say this um not stressed not overextending just content to just block 
But then again, just blocking his spot is not necessarily the best idea. Oh, Lord! And here we go with the max damage. Boom! Get out of here! Good stuff from FAB takes the first match. Very good missile, especially on the end. That was pretty sick. Definitely reading the back dash right there. Uh, catching it with the Garuda uh, impact. Roman cancel it to get closer to the opponent and getting max damage with the 4HS. That was beautifully done by FAB. And here's where we go, the air to air in, in favor of Simple Life. Gonna get the juggle. Ah, no wall break. Goes for the low though, that was very sneaky. What is gonna be the post uh, wall break? Schmix. Nice 6 spirit there from Simple Life. FAB is in jail. He needs to do something or else he is going to get chipped to death. Force to block. And here we go with the butt fall. FAB getting the... Oh lord, what is that? That was so sick. The, the freaking reads from Simple Life are crazy good now. Here we go the Garuda and back. Oh lord. Uh, and unfortunately for FAB, getting grabbed right there with all of this uh, this Sabari going down. In the end, Simple Life prevailed. Managed to get the grab for the kill. Okay, FAB, oh wow, I don't know if that was definitely not intended. That is unfortunate for FAB. He had the knockdown. Unfortunately, with an execution error, he got the flying pot, which put him right in the position of the wall. Uh, on a platter for Simple Life to just eat up and, and get the wall break. And again, Simple Life with the wall break using the butt, the butt slam of, of <laughs> Richard the Samurai. Uh, 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 hard read right there from Simple Life. Okay, let's see, FAB is definitely in dire straits. Gets the reflector, he should be able to juggle it. Let's see how this spins out. Gets the wall break and the heavy knockdown. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the Garuda. Oh, he gets the punish on that burst. That was sick, yo. FAB the magician, yo. That was crazy. Good stuff from FAB. Okay, let's see how this spins out. And Simple Life with the save jump gets the knockdown. Goes for the low this time around. FAB struggling to block. And rightfully so. I mean, Bridges is really hard to block against. Good stuff from if uh, from Simple Life. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Oh no, this is unfortunate for them. And this time around, it's FAB getting his burst baited. What you can do, I can do better. And Simple Life going for the low. Gonna get a guaranteed hard knockdown. What is FAB gonna do? And FAB using the invisibility frame of the Heavenly Podbuster in order. Oh no, I feel like FAB could have done something here. But it's fine, it's fine. It's just one match. Actually, Simple Life evens the odds out. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how this pans out. On to the next battle. Ah, no enter, no. Okay, good fresh right there from Simple Life. Gets the juggle to be able to get the wall break. No, doesn't actually. Goes for the butt. The butt slam. And the 2H to get the wall break. Okay, oh lord and brisket, yo, doing briskety things right there, he manages to get the wall break, even the bait on the burst again. Simple life with all of them schmixes, them optimization, optimization station, and the perfect for the kill. Very nice hit them from simple life, that freaking, that sequence was crazy, this is going in the uh, best of highlights for sure, if I make one. Okay, anyways, here we go with FAB. Unfortunately, FAB looking a little bit distraught right now, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you can see uh, FAB losing patience. Going for the back baby fist, getting hit by the DP. I guess the jump in though. Let's see how this spins out. And goes for the freaking Roman cancel. Podbuster for the kill. FAB not out of this yet. Evens things out. Even Steven, one round, one match apiece. Who's gonna take it? We shall see. Oh, you can see, yeah. Simple Life getting cheeky right there, trying to read the tech attempts from Mephibi. Nice slider hit. And gets the 4HS, yo. 
goes for the white wild assault, gets the hidden. Oh, gets another hidden. Is that gonna kill? This is gonna kill, isn't it? It is. Good lord, FAB, yo, and the freaking damage. That was so crazy, yo. <laughs> the life of the life of, of Bridget just melted away, yo. Oh lord. Under the summer sun sun. <laughs> that was so crazy. That was so sick. Good stuff from FAB. Anyways, on to the next battle. This is potentially the last match of this set if FAB managed to steal the deal. Big Mega Fist right there. Forcing Simple Life to pop the burst. Back Mega Fist for the save. Okay, yeah, you can see FAB not wanting to overextend, but there's only so much pressure you can take while blocking. Ah, too far to get the hit in though. And here we go with the corner pressure. Wow, that timing, yo. The timing of the burst of a favorite. That was definitely uh, expected. Uh, yeah, but it's not over to it. Uh, for now, Simple Life definitely having the life lead. Simple life lead. Oh, if he has the knockdown. Not over. Not over to the toy. Ah, oh, too late for the 6P. No, not like this. Yo, Zum, Sabian, how are you doing? How are you doing, Zum? And here we go on to the next battle. Oh lord! FAB with the knockdown. Ooh! And simple, I've gotta get the heavy knockdown thanks to the overdrive. And here we go with the jump in. FAB trying to close the distance with the with the uh, the heavy the the mega fist though. Can't really do anything about it though. Yeah, you could see, man. Simple Life really just doing as a very good job of keeping FAB out. Just moving once. Oh, yo! Catches the back dash, yo! One more pop buster and it is over for you. Oh, Lord! Oh, are you serious? That was so sick! FAB making it so that he wasn't going to go for the pot buster. Backs off a bit and then immediately does the pot buster. That was so sick. Next level. Uh, next level mind games right there. And the DP finally from Simple Life. Probably having had it of uh, getting pot bustered. That was so crazy. Oh yeah, that comeback was crazy. That was filet mignon right there. Good stuff from FAB. Unfortunately for him right there, he gets a uh, heavy knockdown. In simple life with the with the uh how do you call it the the setups to get the double overhead and again man FAB no this is the third time in a row that FAB gets his uh burst baited this is really unfortunate so let's see who is going to take it we have one well two matches apiece let's see who is gonna be able to take the cake and send the other one in the losers bracket and who is going to make their way in the winners Final, we shall see. Anyway, on to the next battle. Big Mega Fist right there. From FAB. Tries to go for the flick. <clears throat> Yo, Agumai, how are you doing? Hope you're well, homie. Have a great tournament. Oh, there's some crazy Slayer in the bracket. Yeah, we have Usui Slayer. Hopefully, he made it out of uh, out of the... I was going to say the pool, but there's no such thing as the pool in the Burger Cup. But he made it to uh, uh, top 8. Unfortunately, he was sent in the loser's bracket. So, yeah, I don't really know whether we're gonna see one or not, but it is what it is. And has anyone played Slayer? Yes, uh, yes, there has been two uh, Slayer players. There was Suboy, uh, who is originally a chip main, but who uh, decided to uh, play a little bit of Slayer in the tournament. And there's Usui, you know, the, uh, the, the player called Usui. He plays a lot of different characters, and this time around, he decides to play Slayer in this tournament. So, we have two Slayer players. Not sure whether or not they made it uh, in uh, top 8 though. So yeah, we'll just have to pray that it's okay. I can check the, the bracket real quick to tell you. Okay, so... Uh, okay, well, thankfully, uh, Usui Slayer made it uh, in top 8. And Suboy got eliminated, unfortunately. So we have one Slayer in the bracket right now. Yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome. Anyway, there we go. Ooh, Lord, and the flying pot ready for the rescue. Is it an airplane? Is it a bird? Is it a... I don't know. It's super pot. Oh, Lord. And here we go with FAB, man. Okay, FAB back in the neutral, trying to close the distance, but it's really no easy feat, especially against a character with such a reach as 
Usui booty. Uh, as booty. <laughs> as budget. Oh, Lord, in the delay. DP man definitely catching FAB. Uh, off guard. Here we go, the white Roman. White wall to Saul. Yeah, Lord, this is not looking very good. And this should be enough to kill. Yep. It is. We're going down to the last round of the last match. Who's going to take it? Who's going to send the other one in the loser's bracket? We shall see. Very nice with punish from Simple Life gets the... Oh, and the DPO. That isn't looking pretty bleak. Not going to lie, but the 2D for the save. Here we go to jump in. Oh, wow. This is crazy. This is so freaking... I can barely breathe. Okay, and here we go with the... Oh no, use of the tension right there from Simple Life, probably feeling the heat. Ah, this is very nicely done from Simple Life, getting out of the way of the- Oh wow! Boom! And here we go with the Potemkin Buster! Oh yo! Not out of this yet! Almost got the hit! No! That was so quick! Oh yo! Okay, he had to do it. Oh! No, I'm too far to get the hit because it was the golden freaking- Oh, this is so cool! Oh, no! And the trade in favor of Usui Booty of, of uh, Simple Life manages to steal it right at the end. I really thought that, uh, yo. Uh, so let's see how this pans out. You know, for Arc Brave, or will you change? Uh, I'm probably gonna be playing uh, Slayer as well. I think. I really love the character. So fun. I'm, I'm probably gonna. I'm gonna use Eno for certain matchups, and I'm gonna use Slayer for other matchups, basically. Because there are some... What is really cool about Slayer is that he's, he complements uh, the bad matchups of Eno, I think, most of them. So I'm probably going to play, be playing Slayer... Uh, uh, yeah, I'm probably going to be playing him rather seriously. Not going to lie. So yeah, we'll see, we'll see. I'm just I'm just trying the character out for now, so... And I, I really like what I see, so <laughs> I'm probably going to be playing a lot of him. Anyways, that being said, here we go with Moogie getting hit right there. And first round is gonna go to Hakure Neemu. Very convincingly, let's see how this pans out. Hakure Neemu is definitely no slouch. You might never have heard of him, but let me tell you that he has been taking a down, down very strong players in the Brojo Cup. Players that are, uh, well, I'd say renowned actually, who are very strong, so definitely no slouch. Let's see how this pans out. That being said, here we go with Mugi in the corner right there. Ah, getting hit by the Sun Dipper though. Sounds cool. I've just been seeing crazy Twitter clips uh, ever since. Yeah, I know, right? There's so much funny combos you have with the com the with the with the with Slayer. So I really just like playing him, and he has some very cool conversions and whatnot. That's partly the reasons why I really like playing. Uh, so yeah, we'll see, we'll see, we'll just see. That being said, man, Haku Le Lemu taking the lead. Mugi down 1 to 0. Uh, sticking with Slayer. So let's see how this pans out. Almost got the conversion using the Wild Wild Assault. But gets a counter hit right there and an extension in the corner, forcing Mugi to pop the burst. Hakule Lemu going straight into the right the light thing after a very nice confirm. Gonna get the hard knockdown. Here we go to save jump. Wow, that was sick. Ooh, that was an unfortunately timed grab though from Mugi. Getting the close S. Goes for the grab. Oh lord! Nice burst from Reimu. Reimu should be able to seal the deal with the Red the Lightning. Yes, indeed. Kaboom! Okay, I could aim Reimu looking pretty good right now on the verge of... Well, not the verge. He still has like two more matches to go in order to send Mugi in the loser's bracket. Nice with Punish Shield. That was sick. Okay, nice. Damn, the whiff Punish of Hakure Reimu are out of this world. Not gonna lie. A nice Abara right there. Gets the lead. Ooh, wow, that was sick. I didn't know this was a thing. And here we go to close S and Moogie with the confirm. Look at this. Yeah. Unfortunately couldn't finish it off with the uh with the um, the bunker. With the pal bunker. Damn the take pressure, yo. Oh, and the fake out, yo, making it seem that he was gonna go for a, uh, for a, how do you call it, the, an overhead blue Roman cancel. That was sick, yo, the, the mixes are real, yo, from Hakure Lemu. Extremely strong player, I have said it countless amount of times before. 
That being said, here we go with that. Ooh, the close-up pressure right there from Hakure Leiva. Yeah, this, this guy is really good. A very strong Kai player. From Hong Kong, Chinese individual, very strong. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see how this pans out. Mugi is definitely struggling right now, but it can be helped, I think, because Slayer just literally came out like three days ago. It's only normal, well, a little bit more than that, but four days ago, so it's only normal for me to kind of struggle right at the beginning. He's not totally used to him. So yeah, it, it's fine, it's fine, especially against somebody like Hakure Leimu, extremely strong player. And I mean, Mugi has uh, confirmed that he really wants to main Slayer. So, um, so yeah, we, it, we're, I'm definitely looking forward to see his growth. That being said, look at Hakure Leimu doing everything right right now with the freaking whiff punishes. The defense, unfortunately for him, he got opened up right there. With the map the hunch. Moogie with the knockdown. Okay, nice a bar from Moogie. Gets the kid in. Finally taking a round right there. Yes, tired of the... Getting tired of the... Um, what's called the... Uh, the tick pressure right there. From Hakure Demo. Wow, and the double Mappa Hunch. That did a ton of damage. I did a decent amount of damage. It wasn't a ton. And Hakure Demo answering Endu... Uh, Endu form. Calculate him with the corner pressure again. Oh, Lord Moogie finding the opening. Gets the side switch with the double close S. Gonna get the hard knockdown. <clears throat> oh, good Lord. And the stun dipper, man. You never know when it's gonna come. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill. Okay, how can I name it? Keeping. Oh, Lord. Oh, uh, nice stuff from Mugi should be able to take it, and he does, finally. Okay, Mugi putting one on the board, it's not over till it's over, guys. Good stuff, using the, um, using the, uh, screen freeze of the, uh, Roman cancel. Wow, what the hell? That was sick. Mugi not afraid, yo. Okay, here we go with the corner pressure. Wow, this, yeah, forcing Mugi to pop the burst. Mugi with the double mappa punch. Oh lord. And here we go with the ride the lightning. Enough to get the wall break. Yo, so sick. Okay. Ah, Mugi going with the cross up. Goes for the. Oh, wow, dear bar from Agure Leimu Ride the lightning. Good stuff from Agure Leimu. One hit away from getting this round. And gets the kill, the, the hit with the uh, the Fudra Dark. One more round for Hakure Lemu to make his way to the winner's final. We shall see. Ah, nice forest though. Mugi in the corner. Gets it by the wake up DP though. Oh man, this is the worst starter for Mugi. And here we go with the secret edge. It's gonna be a hard knockdown. Hakure Lemu looking pretty good. Gets the grab. Enough. To oh, he could have killed. He could have definitely killed right there. With the uh, the Roman cancel. Okay, well, still. Hakure Lemu taking it a clean three. Then. Roy versus Usui Slayer. Let's see how this pans out. Usui Slayer, also known as just Usui. <laughs> he changes a lot of characters. He's been maining Bridget also uh, as soon as Bridget came out. Yeah, but that being said, yeah, Roy, man, has been working on his Bridget recently. Very, very strong Bridget player. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Ooh, gets the hit in with the Far Age, though. The Sui of many characters. Indeed, he's the character master. Like, as soon as there's a new character, you can be sure that he's going to play with this character for a long time. Like, for at least until the next character comes out. He did this with ABBA. He's probably going to do this with Slayer. And I feel like this is a good way to keep interest in a fighting game because you discovered the game every you don't always play the same character so you always like rediscovered the game through like different gameplay and i really really um i kind of agree with the take of usui on it like he like he never gets bored of guilty gear stuff because he plays so many characters which i totally um respect and uh, i'm trying to imitate him as well I'm trying to play like different characters as well that being said, here we go. Oh, Slayer. Uzi Slayer getting that. Ooh, the hidden. But man, the freaking backdashes of Roy. Uh, he tried to get. Oh, he tried to get a fuzzy. He can get a fuzzy off of this. Okay, this is interesting. Good stuff, good stuff. 
Okay, here we go with Roy. Ah, oh, getting hit right there. Okay, nice jump in right there from uh, Roy, but... Wow, that DP though. That He definitely knew which side it was going to come out. Okay, Lucy Slayer forced to pop the burst right there. One more hit is all that is needed. And finally, Roy taking the kill. The first match goes to Roy. Very nicely done. Yo, Maurice, how are you doing, yo? Welcome back. Finally, we get some Slayer action. <laughs> Here we go with the... Wow, that was a very, very, very tricky. Nice block from Roy, though. And the Abari right there from Musui. Slayer was able to... Ah, no, getting hit by the far chest, though. Goes for the Mappa Hunch. Unfortunately for him, gets grabbed. And he's in block land. Nice stick, yo, from Musui. Very nicely done. Oh, goes for the Mappa Hunch. And Roy, yeah, definitely making good use of the far edge, nullifying the attempt of uh, of Usui in order to um, to use the Mappa Hunch to close the distance. And here we go, the jump. In. Oh, yo! <laughs> Usui just using this opportunity to get out of the corner. And thankfully so. Rightfully so. Oh, yo! Okay, man. Roy with the spacing, yo. Uh, too far to get the... Okay, he wants the fuzzy. That's the reason why he was doing this. But Roy using the uh, faultless defense in order to uh, force uh, Usui far away from him so that he does not have access to the fuzzy. Which makes sense. Nice, Papa Hunch. Gets the double one. The follow-up as well. And gets the punish on the DP attempt, too. That was sick. Good stuff right there from Usui. Unfortunately for him, gets hit by the far HS counter hit. That's going to be a full combo right there for Roy. He's got the corner positioning looking pretty good. He's up one run as well. Being said, Usui does have half a bar of burst filled and a bar of tension as well. Ah, he got the map punch, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, no, he drops it. He drops it, Usui, but still got the follow-up, and this should be it. The big damage of the map punch, man. You get hit uh, by the, the pile bunker. You get hit by this, it's like easily 20% of your life that's gone. Gotta be careful. Nice 6 po. It's Jover. <laughs> exactly. Don't worry, don't. You, see, we need to believe in Usui. If anybody can do it, it's Usui. Okay, and here we go back to the neutral. Wow, Lord and Usi, they all getting the 6H. And that being said, Roy finding the opening. And get the juggle, goes for the save jump. And yeah, Usi in jail. Managed to make, oh, to make it out. Oh, good Lord. Here we go with the uh, yellow room and cancel. Usi just managed to make it out of the corner right away. Or else he would have been in prison due to the burst. Ah, oh, Lord. Nice juggle for Roy. Gets the wall break. Get back to the neutral. Ah, man. Usi, just one more hit is all that's required. Oh, Lord. And the jump in for the kill. Usi, not out of this yet. Manages to get the first, the second match, actually. So let's see if Usui can continue in this path and eventually take the lead. We shall see. Nice forest. Again with the forest is too far to get the map a hunch. Ah, to get ah, uh, unfortunately for Usui, it was too far to get the conversion off of the forest. And it's back to, yeah. Oh, Lord. What a backdash on the 2H, though. And Roy using the Roman Cancel in order to get a, a follow-up far uh, from his uh, tab dust. 
We're gonna jump in. It's time to bring the heat. Make it count. Good lord. Nice 6 P. Ah, uh, too far to get the map punch, but it's okay. Oh, guess the four the closest yo twice. Ah, uh, is it gonna make it to time? No, it's not. Yeah, that was yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. The throw is way too quick, but nice jump in again from Usui man just to get the kill. Usui getting good reads on the on them jump ins right here. Okay, here we go to close up pressure, Roy. A little bit less passive this time around, brings the heat. Oh, gets the hit with the far HS. Punishing the 2H attempt from Usi. Oh, what a hard break right there. The fill grab attempt from Usi. Getting heavily punished for it. But gets the grab. Oh, gets another grab. And it's Grab City. Oh, wow. This I did not know. Oh, you can do this? This is awesome. I see exactly how you could use this. Okay, he used the 2S. Uh, so, Usui used the 2S on the ground. And it still made it so that Roy was drawn towards him. Which made him... Uh, which made him capable of side switching in the corner. And getting the pal bunker. That was actually pretty cool. I didn't know you could do this. But, uh, pal bunker, I don't remember what he did. But he got the side switch. Thanks to it. I wasn't aware you could... Uh, you could still use 2S to... Um, like draw the opponent towards you even on the ground which is cool okay this is something i'm gonna yeah, i'm gonna check anyways here we go with the pressure of roy in the corner a hey, nice blocks for musi these are looking pretty good for roy not gonna lie forcing musi to pop the burst wow in the grab yo yeah just like okay did not do it this time i don't understand it did do it last time, so... What is it dependent on? Nice jump in right there from... Was he slay? Oh, gets the map on. Ah, oh, but still gets the follow-up. Nice grab. Oh, and gets the universe. Not enough to kill. Probably could have killed with the Paul Bunker, though. Which is pretty unfortunate. But gets the hit. Okay, are we going to see a character change? It wouldn't surprise me if it's the case. Definitely Maybe more salt. proficient with salt than with uh, what's your name? Than with uh, with booty so probably the matchup is easier for salt with salt than booty. Um, I really don't know. Like Slayer is too recent to really know currently what is his really bad matchups and which are his less bad matchups. Well, you have like general lines and you can more or less determine which is which, but. You can see right there, Roy using the 2D in order to low profile the map punch attempt. attempt. It was actually pretty ingenuous. Let's see how this pans out. Nice. From Roy gets a heavy knockdown. And here we go, the grab for the kill. Roy definitely looking pretty fresh right now. Ooh, no 2H for you, sir. Nice jump in from Roy. Gets the corner positioning. You have a nice 2H? You have a nice 2S? Let me show you my 2S. You have a nice 4S? Let me show you my 4S then. That's what Roy is definitely eager to showcase. And here we go with the wild Roman. Uh, the wild. Uh, the, the wild assault, I'm sorry. And Roy going with the Schmixes, getting the kill with the tap dust. That was a very, very, very quick uh, fourth round. The sweet is definitely in dire straits. Let's see how this spins out. Here we go, the gun flame. Ah, man, and again, Slayer, man. Oh, Lord, what the hell? Pretty good stuff from Roy, man, with the forest. Nice, Usui, with the freaking... One hit, ah... If Usi had one hit only, he would have been able to get the universe. Wow. Oh, can he... No, he tried to go for it. The command grab, but man, too far for it. Ah, big, big 2D counter hit, though, from Roy. Uh, we're on set point, by the way. The one who wins this one. 
sends the other one out of the tournament. Nice pile bunker. This is going to do a ton of damage. Not enough to kill. But the 2k is going to be enough. Or 2k or the 2p, I'm not quite sure. That being said, this is set point. Roy needs this one if he wants to stay in the corner. In the corner. In the tournament. In the corner. Probably doesn't want to stay in the corner. Which is understandable. Nice jump in right there from Musi. Uh, getting hit by the DP. Oh, but man, Usui with the freaking 2H, yo. Let's go see. Just got here and want to see some Slayer. Well, you're in for a treat. Because uh, Usui is not the only Slayer in the tournament yet. We have Mugi also who's playing Slayer. They're both playing very good today, by the way. Nice 2D, yo. And Roy. And here we go with the wall. Are you serious? Oh, wow. Oh, that's a pretty nice idea. Ah, uh, you can see Roy, Roy going low this time around. One more hit. Ah, uh, you can see, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Roy, aware that Lucy has full tension bar, so he's afraid of uh, of the, the super map the super map hunch. Oh, big 6P, yo, the reads for Moyo. He's gonna do a ton of damage. And Roy with the life lead. Currently, he does not have burst though. So if Usui finds the opening just like this, don't drop it, Usui. Good lord, he keeps dropping it all the time. Ah, okay, here we go. You got the perfect opening right there. Okay, he got the. Ah, this is bad. Usui probably feeling the stress. Nice. Foul bunker. Oh, this is the last round of the last match, by the way. <laughs> Similar to the other two matches. Oh, he's gonna. Oh, Lord! Ah, uh, you can see. Ah, uh, uh, nice blocks, though. Ah, uh, I think he's gonna punch. Yeah. Ah, uh, not enough to kill. Oh, and just like this, yo. Lucy manages to clutch it out right. I'll be right back. Okie dokie, Brits and Cookies, sorry for the waiting. Here we go with Hagiara and Delusion Driver. Very nicely done. Koita still has a full burst gauge. God, getting hit by the minion though in the process. Nice cross up right there from Koita, goes straight for the grab. Goes for the ambiguous jump in. Oh, and gets the punish on the Yellow Roman Cancel. And this is death. Good stuff from Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Is I get a gonna bring it back? It's still just the first round though. A nice grab again from Kohide. Goes for the meaty cannon drill. Oh, and gets the freaking bait on the tech attempt, yo. Okay, good stuff. Oh, here we go with the cannon drill again. And going to straight into the tab dust and the Roman cancel for the kill. Very, very quick first match, not gonna lie. Good stuff from Koide, definitely out for blood. Every single time he met Hagiara in recent uh, Brojo Cup, he's been losing to them. So, probably he's been making doing his homework in order to fight against this um, uh, this character. So, let's see how this turns out. Oh, almost got the whiff punish though. A little bit too late though, but it's still fine. Oh, the cannon drill though, going over uh, the 2k from Hagiara. Nice air grab from Hagiara. Here we go with Hagira. Nice right there from Kohide using the Roman cancel follow up from a hit on block in order to stun uh, Hagira and to get an extension combo. Very nicely done. And yep, Kohide is a man. Don't worry, you got it. <laughs> and here we go with the wall break from Hagira. Hagira, unfortunately, uh, well, fortunately for him, right now got the first round. 
Queen is still looking pretty good. He does have the first match. And there we go with the hard knockdown. Koide going straight for the close. Eh, it's gonna go for the yeah, the fuzzy, but Hagiara with the with the very nice block, not gonna lie. Ah, blocks every single dust under the sun. Again, it is unfortunate for Koide right there. He is in the corner with having to deal with a heck ton of minions. And here we go with Forever Illusion Driver! From Hagiara Hagiara getting the hard knockdown. It's gonna be the Schmix. Here we go with the jump in. Ah, Lord. Oh, wow. The 2K, though, from the Abare. From Hagiara straight into the Illusion Driver again for the kill this time around. Good stuff from Hagi. Oh, again, Hagiara getting the first round. The second match of this, uh, uh, the, this set. So let's see if Kohide can shift the tides and continue his journey in the bracket. We shall see. Hagiara has definitely been one of the bracket demons of Kohide. Definitely not a... I haven't... I don't remember when was the last time he managed to, to beat Hagiara, so... I'm kind of rooting for him, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Anyways, here we go with Hagiara in the corner, though. With the endless pressure. Very nice 6P, though, from Kohide. A very brave one as, as well. Oh, I think he's gonna get hit because he backdashed. Yep. Yeah. Oh, we're not! Too far. Oh, no! I could they dropping it at the absolute worst possible moment. Oh, Lord. And the backdash from Kohide at the best possible moment. This is gonna be Ventani in your ass. Good stuff from Kohide. Gonna get the, the wall the, the wall break and the kill. Very nicely done. Okay, let's see how this pans out. Okay, nice blocks right there from Kohide. Unfortunately, gets scooped by the... Extending H from Hagiara, which catches his backdash again with the meaty cannon drill. Turn with the close SEO from uh, Hagiara. Getting hit by the standing H, though. No. Uh, too far to get the extension station. And straight into Ventania for the guaranteed hard knockdown. Things are looking pretty bleak for Hagiara. Hagiara definitely needs to make something happen. Here we go to jump in. Hagiara with the Golden Roman cancel. Oh, and the aerial overdrive for the kill. Kohide up 2-1. to one. one more match is all that is required for him to send Hagiara out of the tournament. Let's see if he manages to do so or not. Oh, again, here we go to jump in. Hagiara drawing first blood. And Kohide with the bag dash right on the Roman, the white, the wild assault from Hagiara. Nice patient from Kohide, not overextending. Tried to go for a grab, though. Again, this time around, and this time around manages to get it. Goes for the meaty cannon drill. Fortunately for him, Hagiara understood and read his grab attempt and was and managed to uh, not get hit by it. Nice air grab, though, from Hagiara. Hagiara, yeah, again with the wall break. Okay, nice whiff punish from Kohide. Forcing the, the yellow room cancel from... Uh, Hagiara and Hagiara gonna the kill with the OTG and the minions. On to the next battle. Okay, one round in favor of Hagiara right now. Unfortunately, gets a clean jump in right there. And Kohide with the corner pressure gets the wall break. Kohide has some resources that you could use in order to secure out, and this should be it actually. Yeah, this is going to be death right there. Good stuff from Kohide. One more round for him to send Hagira out of the tournament. His brackets demon, is he going to be able to do so? We shall see. Almost got the whiff on it. Very nice just defend though. Just block. That was sick. And here we go with the corner pressure. Kohide getting grabbed, unfortunately. It's the beginning of the end. Ah, nice grab again from Hagira, man. But what else are you supposed to do? And here he goes straight into the tab dust. Straight into the overdrive to deny Kohide his, uh, his options of bursting. Hagira putting another one on the board. We have a tie. Ladies and gentlemen, who is going to send the other one out of the tournament? We shall see. Big standing H right there from Kohide. And very brave freaking... Oh, man. And the dash into the grab. 
Okay, cool. He did getting all the correct reads. Noticing that Agera is focusing a little bit too much on trying to evade any grab attempts that Koide is trying to do. A nice 2k 2d right there. Good lord. And Koide has Hagira where he wants them. No entire though. He has the whiff punish though. That was sick. Oh, you borrowed from Hagira though. Okay, nice 2k right there from Hagira. Here we go with the yellow room and cancel. Ah, uh, Koide almost getting the whiff punish, but gets a counter hit right there. Oh, and yes, the freaking bait on the burst! It's definitely not over till it's over. It could go either way still, but things are looking pretty good for Koide, not gonna lie. Careful with the minion though. And yeah, Hagera has the double. Yeah, uh, oh lord. Yellow Ruin Castle, here we go. And yeah, good stuff. Koide did not commit to anything. Um, in the first frame, he got grabbed though. A nice 6 speed though, and the Dragon, this should be it actually. Wow, we're going down to the last round of the last match. Uh, North America players mostly left Jacko after the nerfs, but J Japanese players out here doing great even. Yeah, that's the thing. In Japan, everybody thinks that Jacko is top tier. Everybody believes that she is, and I personally believe as well. I think she's like one of the strongest characters in the game. I'm not even lying. But yeah, it's uh, unfortunate that uh, America gave up on her because she's. I really think she's a very strong character. Extremely strong, like easily top 7 to 5. I suppose, personally, I'd say very strong character. She has like a suffocating pressure, and unfortunately for Hayara, Kohide manages to turn the table and take. Ah, uh, sorry, I'm just wrong. I'm sorry. 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 Okay, so sorry for the wait. This is FAB versus Usui Slayer. Let's see who's going to take it. We shall see. Anyway, we oh, Usui Slayer getting the clean jump in right there. Unfortunately, could not capitalize off of it. Very unfortunate. That being said, here goes the Mega Fist and nice conversion. FAB going with the back Mega Fist though. Probably trying to bait like the burst or something. Unfortunately, got hit by it. But it's fine. And here we go with the jump in. Ah, uh, you can see ya. Uh, Oh lord! Kaboom! The super mappa punch! Wow, what the hell is going on? We should have no idea. That being said, here we go with FAB and the big wall break. Both opponents have more or less the same amount of resource. A little bit more health on FAB's side. Oh lord! Wow, when the freaking butt fall for the kill for FAB, FAB taking. The lead. I'm late, but I'm here. That's good, Mineral. It's always a pleasure to have you here. How are you doing, bro? And here we go. Oh, Lord, with the jump in from FAB. FAB with the flick. <laughs> Pushing Usui to the other side of the screen. Okay, let's see how this spins out. Big slider head. Unfortunately, gets punished by D4S from Usui. Let's see how this spins out. Nice 2H right there from Usui. Usui getting hit by D slider head. And getting Potemkin bustered. Oh, Lord, and FAB with the freaking burst made turns the table. How the turn, how the turns have table right there. Good Lord, good stuff from FAB. FAB the Potemkin God, very nicely done. So let's see how Usui Slayer is going to be able to shift the tide of battle. The skies have been defended. <laughs> exactly. Good Lord, man, FAB. Yeah, they never burst on FAB unless you're absolutely certain. Oh lord, almost got the hit on the uh, second hit of the armor that uh, FAB had. Let's see how this spins up. Anyways, big pile bunker right here. Oh lord, the sliding grab from FAB. Let's see how this spins out. Big, big, big damage for FAB. Definitely taking a clear lead. Oh wow, what a far S though. Oh no, 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 he almost got it. That would have been so sick. Oh man, that would have been so sick. Oh, and again, FAB freaking baiting the burst. That was so unfortunate, yo. Usui Slayer had the correct hit, but couldn't quite do the, the, the infinite horizon in time. That was so unfortunate. So unfortunate. <laughs> Sad. Sadness. 
And here we go with the Garuda Impact. You are in Garuda Impact Land. Big counter hit. This is gonna be death? This is probably death, actually. This is death, yeah. Yeah, bye bye. Boom! <laughs> Good stuff from FAB. Oh, holy freaking lord. FAB running a freaking train on Lucy <laughs> Slayer right now. I'm not gonna lie. That was a clean combo right here. Big damage, high execution, good shit. It was good stuff from FAB. Oh lord. Big slider head though. And you're going to eat a putt buster. Boom! Get out of here! Ah, yeah, tried to go for a flick though, but you see Slayer not biting. FAB looking pretty good right now, not gonna lie. Nice for us though. Oh lord! Big Mega Fist, and again with the sliding putt buster, man. This has been the sl this has been the the bane of of Uzi Slayer. Uzi Slayer waking up with the overdrive, or not? I thought he was. Oh lord! Big pal bunker. I already go with the pal bunker loops. Oh, only two. I mean, I'm sad. Oh lord! And you thought you were gonna entire me? Not today. Not today, sir. Not today. <laughs> Oh, you thought you were gonna 6p me? Not today. <laughs> Good stuff from FAB. FAB man with uh, everything going going his way, man. Good lord. Ah, fine, Lucy Slayer getting something started. But as soon as I say this, FAB is already out of there. Big Garuda Impact. Big Flick. And, okay. Oh, finally. Okay, a little bit of a scramble right here, but finally, Lucy Booty managed to get. Oh, the universe. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, Usui is looking for the uh, for timing to get the. Oh lord, that was unfortunately a little bit too. I oh, should be able to get the kill. Yeah, he is here, of course. Finally, Usui Slayer, finally getting one round. So let's see if he can get a second one as well. Big two H, yo, and get the freaking conversion with the pal bunker as well. Very nice, done. Oh lord, almost got hit by the the dust. Okay, big slider head. Ah, this is gonna be huge for Usui Slayer. Go straight for the super Mappa Hunch. Come on, Usui, draw some blood. Both literal and... Yeah, exactly, he needs the blood. Oh, Lord. Oh, and this ship... No, not enough. Saved by the... Saved by the burst. You can see yeah, FAB not committing to anything anymore. And just like this, finally, Usui Slayer putting one on the board. Two to one. Let's see, Usui still not out of here. Usui definitely taking his time to adapt to his opponent. You can see in his previous match as well, he was down 2-0 but managed to bring it back 3-2-2 at the end. So definitely Usui taking a sweet time to adapt to his opponent. Let's see if he manages to bring it though. Oh, okay, nice clean conversion right there. Oh, wow. But the just defend though, the just blocks from FAB are out of this world. Big, big, big pot buster goes for the extension, forcing Usui to pop the burst. A oh, big mega fist. Good lord, what he do? <laughs> yeah, you can see FAB not wanting to overextend. Nice standing period right there from Mr. FAB. FAB one round away from eliminating Usui. From the tournament and making his way to the, I do believe it's the loser semifinal. Big jump in. And here we go with the pressure. Very nice slider head. Good lord. Oh, here we go with the ground pound. Ah, uh, too far to get the freaking. Uh, to, to, oh, nice back dash though from Usi. That was sick. Oh, okay. Okay, nice 6p from Usui, getting hit by the Mega Punch though. Almost got hit by the Flake though. Ooh, and the Stagger, and this should be it actually. And here we go, yo, FAB eliminating Usui. Arigatouzaimashita, Usui-san. Mata yoroshiku onegashimasu ne. On to the next battle with Mugi. Kohide, who's going to take it? With Mugi still sticking to his guns with Slay. Let's see how this pans out. And round start with, well, not really round start, but Mappa Hunch. Oh, big Mappa Hunch with the conversion in the corner since it was a counter hit. Yeah, let's see. Here we go with the blood draw. Ooh, that was a universe right here. Oh, okay, and here we go with Kohide and the pressure in the corner should be able to get the wall break. No Ventania right there. Decides to keep there. 
uh, tension bar in order to have more possibilities later on and rightfully so but unfortunately for them Moogie was able to get the hit right there too far uh, from the corner but as you know Koi did like Suika with the Bentania oh very nice XP right there from Moogie man that was sick good stuff a nice Abare from and again for the 6PO Mugi on point with the entires right there very nicely done we're getting on to the next battle here we go the map, map hunch Kohide knowing that it's definitely their turn to uh, push a button was able to take his turn back goes for the throw loops again with the throw and the Abare big 6P oh lord Oh, too far to get the 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 standing K to connect. Unfortunately for Mugi, we are getting the oh Lord and the map 100 delayed one. This is gonna do a ton of damage, but Kohi is saved by the bell, yo. Big 6P and this should do. Mugi looking clean. Holy freaking Lord! Let's go vampire time, yo. Good start. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay, let's see how this spins out. On to the next battle. Ah, oh, too far for the pal hunch. Paul, Paul Bunker, I'm sorry, the Paul Hunch? What the hell is the Paul Hunch? Ah, too far to get the, yeah, to, to get the juggle. Oh, let's see how this spins out. Woo! Nice 2k 2d. Oh, and goes for the Schmix, yo! Goes for the grab right away. And the infinite! And this is gonna be death, maybe? Ah, no, a little bit too, yeah. The magic pixel, and goes for the cross up. For the kill, yo! Moogie looking clean, yo! Let's see how this spins out. Moogie loves them vampires. His previous main was not going to Yuki after all. And look, he did not out of this yet, though. Getting a lot of hits in. Goes for the Ventania 40. Guaranteed hard knockdown added to the damage. Let's see how this is going to pan out. There we go to close up pressure. Gohide with the juggle goes straight into the Bantania again for the kill. No! The magic pixel. Well, it's not really pixel. Oh, Lord! Kaboom! He dies! With the super hunch. And here we go with Moogie. Goes for the tick pressure. Not afraid of the uh, wake of Bantania. <laughs> I totally jinxed it. I, I totally jinxed it. <laughs> Good stuff from Kohide waking up with the wait, with the the Ventania. Okie dokie breads and cookie. Oh man, the far HS. What a move. Oh just close enough to get the hidden. Okay, and Kohide with the close-up pressure. Nice block on the overhead. And again with the overhead by the way. This time around. Mugi going with the low. And the wake of Ventania yet again! <laughs> This time around, yeah, Kohide cancelling in order to get a maximum amount of damage. Look at the damage! Good freaking lord! And this is gonna be dead. Kohide putting one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. One match apiece. Who is gonna be taking it? We shall see. I'm rooting for both because both are my boys. I definitely want to see one of them succeed, but I don't want to see the other one lose, so I don't know who to root for. That being said, here we go with the... Um, with the burst from Kohide, ooh! Good for him. Ah, uh, well, fortunately for him, uh, Mugi dropped the combo. But look at the damage, yo! Oh, Kohide doesn't have a lot of health left. That being said, Giovanna does hit hard as well. Let's see how this spins out. And here we go to close up pressure, Kohide. Going for the ah, uh, yeah, going for the yeah, the Kendra loop in the corner. Okay, Mugi looking pretty, pretty bad right now. Definitely bleeding. Oh, and the pal bunker! That was the rawest pal bunker I've ever seen. This should be enough to kill, yes! Mugi just in time, yo. Good stuff from Mugi. Gets the lead for the first round. Ooh, okay. Oh, nice bag dash, though. That was crazy. And goes for the schmixes. Good lord. And here we go with the grab. This is gonna be huge if Kohide gets it. And he does. Uh, this is looking pretty good for Mugi. Kaboom! Good lord. Oh man. And here we go with the freaking Asante. Kohide with. Oh! The freaking comeback, baby. We shall see. Wow. What, what are these blocks, though? Oh, nice stuff. 
Kohide afraid, man. Afraid of the wake up DP. The, afraid of the wake up reversal. Ah, uh, this is looking pretty bad. Yeah, okay, not over till it's over. Nice, count it. Wee! Boogie! Boogie with the freaking raw map punch manages to steal it right at the end, 2 to 1. Unfortunately, no. Uh, no comebacks for Kohide this time around. This is unfortunate for them. Mappa Hunch yet again. Yeah, let's see how this spins out. Nice block on the, the burst, but yeah. Kohide gets the side switch. Oh, and gets the wall bounce. The wall break, I'm sorry. The wall splat. Oh, Lord. Here we go. The bison slide right here from Mugi. Yeah, he's gonna get the. Yeah, the pal bunker. Look at the damage. Thank you very much for the follow, Nita to say, and welcome to the Brojos. Big Nasante right there from Koide. Gonna go for this fuzzy again. This time I'll go for a regular, for regular pressure. Good lord, what the hell was that? Here we go with the cross up. You'd love to see it. Oh, and he even gets the extension. Yeah, what a combo! Just enough to kill too. What a combo from Kohide. Holy freaking sh Holy freaking lord. <laughs> I really wanted to say it. Anyways, here we go with uh, the map the hunch. And Kohide in the corner finally. Forcing Moogie to pop the burst. Wow, what a side switch yo from Moogie. The cojones of this dude just to to dash forward through the attack of Kohide. That was pretty crazy. Okay, and uh here we go with the juggle. The juggle is real, and Kohide going for the tab dust, straight into the Wild Assault for guaranteed hard knockdown, that being said, Mugi does have two bars. Ah, uh, no! Oh, now she wanted the infinite horizon, that's the reason why, and Kohide puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen, yet again, it's only the fifth match where we have a tie. <laughs> crazy, yeah, we have had so many ties these days, crazy. And here we go with the burst from Moogie. Moogie going with the side switch right there. Playing with his food. Yeah, it's your turn after a blocked overhead, by the way. So don't forget that. And here's a big 6 speed right there. Even got the follow-up cannon drill as well. Cool, he did definitely knowing his uh, combo routes right there. Should be able to get the Ventania. Very nicely done. Okie dokie, breads and cookie. Here we go with the close up pressure. And again with the fuzzy this time around. Oh man. Queen is delaying a little bit too much his fuzzy, but you know what? It worked out in the end for him. He's at set point on the verge of eliminating Mugi from the tournament. And Mugi, man. Lord. With the freaking mixes and Queen is just content to just block, man. Really paying attention to the side of where Mugi is going to appear. Oh lord, that was almost a bunker. Nice blocks again from Moogie, from uh, from Kohide. That is pretty crazy. Big far HS counter radio. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Not gonna kill though. There we go with the cannon drill, and this is not gonna be death. It's gonna be pretty close. One more hit is all that's required. Wow. Not enough to kill. Yeah, this is going to be pretty close. Ah, Lord. Yeah, this time around the fuzzy went in. Not enough to kill. One more hit. And you can see, man, cool. He's investing all of his resources to... Ah, no, too far to get the hit. Unfortunately for Mogi. Right, uh, real quick, get a glass of water. Gonna be right back. Okie dokie, Brids and Cookie, how is this going? Simple Life versus Hakure Leimu. South Korea versus China. Let's see how this pans out. 
Good lord, big 6 right there for Hakure Lebu. Gonna get the wall break, probably. Definitely. And goes for the stun dipper for it. Oh lord, ah, too far to get the 6 p but still manages to do it. The grab for the kill. Very nicely done. For Hakure Lebu takes the lead. Let's see if Simple Life can manage to. Oh lord. To bring it back, it's definitely not over till it's over. Here we go with the jump in. Tries to bait the DP. Unfortunately for uh, them, Hagari Lemu does not bite. And here we go with the uh, overdrive. Simple Life probably gonna go for a safe jump. And does. And goes for the command grab. That was huge damage, by the way. Big wake up DP though from Hagari Lemu. He's out of the corner finally, but has to deal with. Ah, this is actually pretty bad. Yeah, no. <laughs> and simple and just using the overdrive just to make sure that uh well Hakure Lemu is out and cannot use his uh, burst. Let's see how this spins out. Nice with punish right there from Hakure Lemu. Gonna get a full combo and a corner positioning. Too far to get the uh, direct light though. Oh, gets the direct light this time around. Goes for the grab, very nicely done. Gets hit by the DP though this time around. What is going to happen? Very quick Roman cancel right there from Hakure Lemu, knowing that at Oh no! Oh Lord, saved by the burst! Big jump into from Simple Life. This is the absolute worst thing that uh, Hakure Lemu could have wished for. Hoping to see Lemu and Evo guaranteed to take some big names in NA. Oh, for sure. Lemu is really, really, really strong. I'm, I'm really surprised that he's not more known in Asia, you know? He's very, very strong. Ah, that being said, Simple Life is no slouch either. It's not over till it's over, but yeah, things are looking pretty tough for Lemu right now. And the grab for the kill. Simple Life takes the first round pretty nicely, not gonna lie. Ah, uh, damn it. Uh, the AC is a little bit too cold right now. <laughs> I'm freezing my, my butt off. Anyways, here we go with the grab from Hakure Lemu. Okay, here we go. Uh, and Hagurei in the corner. Unfortunately for him, gets hit by the wake up DP. And Korean players too. Plenty. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. It's not all about Dowry, you know, for sure. There's so many great, strong uh, Korean players as well. South Korean players. Of course, Dark Necro as well. Uh, Happy G Garuja as well. Very strong. Um, what's her name? Uh, Elfel player. A simple life also. Well, as you can see, <laughs> Bridget. There's another one called Kim, who's a chip player, very strong uh, chip chip player as well. Yeah, there, there are plenty of very strong uh, Korean players, for sure. For sure, for sure. And uh, of course, Sanakan, uh, who made top two, I think, at EVO Japan. I think, with uh, Happy Chaos, who's a South Korean as well. So yeah, no, you, you have a, a ton of very good South Korean players. And of course, Darwino, but everybody knows Darwino. Uh, big 6 spear right there from Hakure Leimu. And here we go with the grab this time around from Simple Life with the corner positioning. Very, very nicely done. Gets the air grab. Holy freaking lord. Wow. Went for a blue Roman cancel uh, a combo. But Hagure Lemu managed to block it. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Simple Life looking very, very strong right now. Get the command grab. Are you serious? Are you serious? And Hagure Lemu not uh, playing the hero burst game right there. Just, <laughs> just taking the L. Yeah, would rather hold on to this burst and not, you know, lose. Oh, very nice grab though from Hagure Lemu. Let's see. Goes for the save jump. Oh, wow. And even gets the follow up. Yo, that was sick. That was totally planned, by the way, by Simple Life. That was really crazy. Oh, and the bait on the bird, on the, on the DPO. Not enough, not enough to kill. Not by. Oh, again, the wake up DPO. Oh, Lord. Nice stuff from Hagure Lemu. He had bar. He could have used his... Uh... Oh, wow. What the hell was that? Let me see. I understand it for the kill. Hagure Lemu, yo. Taking one match, yo. Who is going to make their way to the grand final? I'm really looking forward to it, by the way. So let's see how this pans out. Okay, I almost got the close S though. Yeah, this spins out. 
Okay, Hakulele Emu trying to make his way towards Bridget right now. Good lord. Oh, again, Hakulele Emu. Oh, unfortunately, got hit by the Six Spirit here. Tries to hit Simple Life out of the air, but Simple Life remaining very nimble, very hard to pin down. Oh, good combo, yo! That was six stuff from uh, Happy Life, but from Simple Happy Life, from Simple Life. Oh, I think this this is not gonna. Hit. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay. Does this come out on nine frames? I wonder. The um, what's it called the the, the red the lightning. Any who's uh, and Roger for the save. And this is gonna be death. No, it's not actually. Because of a drop of a combo, that being said, yeah. Yeah, Simple Life had a ton of resources right there that he could burn in order to keep the pressure going and seal the deal. Nice jump in. Oh, but yeah, Simple Life too quick to recover. Oh, and that was a big break on the burst. Big combo, yo. Look at this with the Secret Edge. Here we go, the close up pressure. Nice grab right there from How Could I Name Gonna get the kill with the Fudra Dark. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. Who's going to take the next one? Oh lord. Ah. Uh. And here we go, Simple Life with the combos and the pressure. Akulele with his handful just trying to defend. Risky Gauge is fully charged. Coming down right now, though, finally. No 6P, but it's okay. Ah, nice freaking... Man, Hakurei Leimu's defense is crazy, yo. He's been blocking for the past freaking... For the past at least 30 seconds, and... He still managed to find the opening in the end. That was, that was crazy, man. Crazy defense. Okay. Oh, is that gonna be enough? And it is! Good lord! Good stuff from Hakurei Leimu. Takes the lead 2-1. to one. Is he gonna send freaking uh, Simple Life in the loser bracket? That was sick. It would be really sick. So let's see how this fans out. Okie dokie, Breads and Cookie. On to the next battle. Okay, I'm back to the neutral. How could they lay me with the 6P, man? Getting all of them reads, gets the jump in the clean one too. Tries to go for a grab this time around. Simple Life jumps out of harm's way and punishes accordingly. And back to the neutral again. Ah, nice back that show while being in uh while being in slowdown. Ah, too far to get the punish, yo. You hate to see it. Ah, yeah, that's really how you're supposed to play Bridget, to play her very, very nimble, impossible to pin down. Full Life doing a really good job of not only like remaining in the, applying safe pressure, but also annoying Hakure Leimu, <laughs> successfully doing so. Not enough bars to get the kill, but gets the kill with a simple yo-yo toss. Very nicely done by Simple Life. Big 6PY. <laughs> Seriously, nice backdash though from Simple Life. Gets the grab. And the side switch. Bah, are you serious? That is crazy. And here we go with the hard knockdown. Ah, uh, tried to go for the blue room and cancel, but no. 6P. Wow, that's 6P though. Nice blocks from Simple Life. I definitely would have gotten a hit. And here you can see Hakure Leimu spamming the 2P in order to catch the backdash frames of Simple Life. Wow, oh, and the freaking bait on the burst! Is that gonna- Nah, it's not gonna be enough. Okay, it's anybody's game right now. Oh lord! Uh, wait for it! Uh, not enough to kill! And it is! Wow, the combo, yo! So, so sick, good stuff from Hakure Leimu. Very nice knowledge of the routes that he needed to take to get the wall splat and the kill at the end. That was really cr crazy. That was crazy, yeah. Good lord. That is going in the highlight for sure. 
But yeah, but Hakune has been playing so good, I have so many highlights of him that it's gonna be hard to determine which one I should use. Anyways, here we go with Simple Life though, with the knockdown. Getting hit by the Sun Nipper though. Yeah, if, uh, this is a set point by the way, if Hakure Lemu wins this one, he will move on to the Grand Final. So Simple Life absolutely needs to get uh, the win on this one if they want to stay in. And just like this, just as I speak, Hakure Lemu seals the deal 3. Yay, let's go! Okay, so I do believe uh, FAB was the one to send Kohida in the loser's bracket though. But don't quote me, I think it's the case though, let me see. So, nah, probably not, actually. Yeah, oh, yes! Yes, actually, yes. FAB was the one to send Kohide in the loser's bracket. So this is a chance for Kohide to get his revenge and to eliminate FAB out of the tournament. Let's see if Kohide is capable of doing so. Kohide has been, has been playing extremely well today. So, um, I, I'm i kind of rooting for him, not gonna lie. But I kind of want to see FAB also do some crazy stuff, so I'm kind of mitigated, not gonna lie. And there's also Hakure Leimu, and there's also Simple Life, like, only good players, only very entertaining players left, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for everybody, actually. May the best win. The best Brojo win. Ah, nice blocks, though, man. That is crazy good stuff for Rob Kohide. The pressure was wild. Team FAB, perfect. Tell me, who are you guys for? So, we have Mawadi for FAB. I'm sure there's some uh, some Kohide lovers in the chat as well. I, I personally don't know who I'm for. Like, seriously, all four of them are really, really good players and very entertaining ones as well. And FAB with the reads right there, man. The reads on the jump attempt of Kohide, yo. And here we go with the close-up pressure. Team Kohide, let's go. And here we go with the close-up pressure, the flick. And man, FAB with the delayed. Oh, wow. Here we go, the Garuda impact for the kill. The one round of peace. Who's going to take the first match? We shall see. Good lord. Here we go, the slider head. Kohide with the juggle. Getting the wall break. Very nicely done. Team Kohide again. Yo. <laughs> Mugi, of course. Mugi, the ambassador of the Brojo Cup. <laughs> Is for Kohide. Kohide, his we can say his his uh his uh partner, his training partner as well. They've played together a lot, and they they get along very well. So it's only normal. And here we go with oh lord, oh the fuzzies, yo! And Kohide manages to clutch his way to the first match. Very nicely done. Good lord, Kohide definitely playing very good today. Let's see if he manages to seal the deal. Having said, FAB is no slouch. She was the one to send him in the loser's bracket as well. So yeah, it's definitely going to be a, a uphill battle for Kohide. But if anybody can do it, it's probably Kohide. Definitely playing very good today. Almost got the whiff punish too. And Kohide has a lot of supporters in the chat. I am very happy to see it. Not to say that, um, well, FAB does not have his own share of support, but, uh, but, uh, Kohide, yeah, I feel like he's. it's his time. Today is definitely his time. Definitely playing very good. Look at this. Look at the pressure. Kohide playing so good right now. Oh, Lord, but unfortunately for him, he got scooped by the by the, the pot buster. And it's going to be... Yeah, it's going to be reflector time, but very nice use of Kohide. Oh, he gets the aerial freaking... Is this not going to be enough, though? Oh, he tried to go for the tap dust. He got cheeky, but damn, that was so unfortunate for FAB as well. With the, the what's called the um, the execution error right there from FAB, that was unfortunate for him. So let's see how this spins out. FAB definitely feeling the heat. Got the optimized combo with the corner carry. Ooh, Lord, gets the flake. Tries to go for the mega fist, but man, go hit it with the jump in. Oh, good Lord. Oh, the Nasante counter hit! Wow, you couldn't have hoped for anything better. Good stuff for Kohide. Let's see how this spins out. Gets the Nasante another time. Tries to bait the burst. And just like this, Kohide is gonna take the second match as well. Kohide up 2-0, to zero, yo! On the verge of defeating his second bracket demon. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, let's see if Kohide can manage to seal the deal or not we shall see Ooh, wake up gold burst i lost haha <laughs> it's not it don't discount you should not uh 
if anybody can make the comeback, it's definitely FAB. You should definitely not think that FAB is completely out yet. There's still like uh, a long... There's still one match left, and one match can determine a lot. Don't worry, Mawardi. Okay, anyways, let's see how this spins out. Oh, j'ai cru que c'était final. Non, non, pas encore, t'inquiète. T'as encore du temps. And here we go with the blocks. Oh, and the fuzzy. Oh, Kohide with the fuzzies. It's fine. You still have... It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. Okay, one more chance for FAB to stay in. We shall see how this spins out. Here we go with the blocks. Lord, ah, FAB getting hit by everything under the sun right now. Good lord, uh, Kohide going with the Wild Assault. Okay, here we go, the close-up pressure. Kohide! Oh lord. One more hit is all that's required just like this. Yo, Kohide with a clean 3-0 sped ran through FAB. Quite the surprise. Simple life, apparently a character... Um, well... It can play like several different characters, which is pretty nice. Let's see how this spins out. Kohide versus Simple Life. Okay, let's see. So for now, it is a a game of cat and mouse. Whoever initiates the initiates pressure first gets a better chance of winning. Very nice. Ah, very nice out there right there from Kohide. Couldn't quite pin. Couldn't quite open. Um, Simple Life there though. Somebody go hit it indeed. Oh wow, the goal is on Kohide though. Okay, and here we go, straight into the Ventania. Close enough to the No! No, oh, I didn't get the wall splat. You hate to see it. This is so unfortunate. And here we go with Simple Life with the combo. Try to go for a grab, a sneaky grab. Still got the corner positioning and should be able to seal the deal. Good stuff from Simple Life gets the first uh the first round. It's only the start though. Big closes though. This is gonna be huge. Huge starter right there for Kohide. Too far from, from the corner to get anything substantial going though. But still gets the uh, the four HS though. Counter hit. Oh, and gets the corner pressure. Goes for the tap dust and this is gonna be dead. Good stuff from Kohide. Let's see how this spins out. Okay, and here we go with the burst right there from Simple Life. Wow, what a trade. What what a the clash. Okay, Simple Life going. Uh, going for the lows this time around. Ah, big 6PO in favor of Simple Life. Good stuff. Should be able to get. Yes, is going to get the heavy knockdown. Nice box from Kohide, unfortunately gets grabbed. This would have been death if- Oh, what the hell was that? What the hell was this mix? Good lord. Wow, that was one crazy mix right there from Simple Life. Very nicely done. I don't know what happened. That was crazy stuff. Okay, and on to the next battle. Simple Life definitely looking pretty good right now. Unfortunately tried to grab, but Kohide said, nope, not today. Oh, gets a hit with the sledge. To be able to get the wall break, but Kohide is forced to pop the burst. Wow, big air counter hit. This is gonna do a ton of damage because Melia is made out of paper. And rightfully so. Okay, nice blocks right down for Wow, oh, what a block from Kohide should be able to seal the deal right there. Gonna go straight with the overdrive. Very nicely done. On to the next battle. See if Kohide can seal the deal. Nice jump in. And Simple Life with the forest. Oh, wow. Oh, Lord. Simple Life definitely looking pretty good right now. Gonna get the opening. And gonna get the wall break. Oh, wow. Cool. He did just going very deep in order to get that, that hit. Oh, still gets the hit with the three kicks right there. To be able to get the wall break. But didn't want it. Still fine. Goes for the save jump. And this should do. Good stuff from Kohide. Very nicely done. Probably an execution error right there from Simple uh, Light. Who probably inputted something different. Might change to Bridget, by the way. It's not impossible. But I, I understand why he would want to uh, 
stick with uh, Milia for this one. That being said, and here we go with the burst. And simple life with the blocks though. Getting opened up this time around and having to deal with a heavy knockdown. Oh man, Kohita again with the quick tap, the tap dust man. For the opening, it should be able to get the kill and does. Very quick first round right there for this third match. Yeah, uh, you can see. Oh, what an Asante. Okay, Simple Life getting cheeky right there. Getting out of the corner. Catches the back dash with the standing S. The close S, I'm sorry. Now he's straight into the overdrive. Simple Life with the heavy knockdown. Ooh, shouldn't get hit by the. I don't think so, yeah. And even gets the punish. I don't think Koyid is gonna burst here, yeah. Wouldn't make any sense. Okay, good stuff from uh, from uh, Simple Life. Evens the odds. One round, one match apart. Who is going to take it? We shall see. And here we go with Simple Life, man. Using the Rose, yo. Oh, big 2D right there from Koyid. They're gonna get the side switch. And the wall break. Yeah, ah, uh, too far. Yeah, it's the Nasante. Stop. Stop. <laughs> this is so funny. Stop dancing uh, above me, please. Koi did just sing, yeah, if that, I'm just gonna do Nasante all the time. And it works. And rightfully so. Maybe we're gonna see a change of character. This was definitely, like, totally in favor of Koi did. Unless Simple Life kind of changes their game plan, I don't really see them deal with the Nasante anytime soon. All right, here we go with the Puente this time around. Ah, big counter hit. Ooh, that was a late Nasante. And again with the Tab Dust, man. This has been working a lot for Koyde. Should go for the Wild Assault to get the guaranteed hard knockdown. And ooh, what a grab. Attempt. Nice bad dash from Koyde, yo. Nice blocks, though, from Simple Life. But this is going to be dead. Okay. One more chance for Simple Life to try to uh, change the odds. Nice standing P right there from Koide. Not afraid. Didn't finish their combo, but still some decent damage dealt. Nice back dash, yo. What a cojones. The cojones on Koide, yo. The back dash, yo. Big sledge, though, from Simple Life. I'm gonna get the juggle. Too far to get the wall break, though. Ah. And Simple Life out of the corner. Gets hit by the Sante. <laughs> it's a game of, of cat and mouse. It's crazy. Okay, and here we go with uh, the Ventania for max damage. We sent Kotita to lose it. Uh, FAB. And this is gonna be it. Good stuff from Kohide. Takes it a clean 3-1, to one. yo. That's the impression that I personally have. So it might be the the, the reason why... Uh, the, the reason being that they perhaps have like more of a budget to allocate uh, to, to, network, to network capacity or whatnot. I really don't know. That being said, here we go. This is the grand final. It's going to be Hakure Leimu versus Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Hakure Leimu this time around. Uh, playing none other than Leo against Kohide. Let's see how this pans out. Very nice block from Kohide. We don't have a lot of Leo representation in the tournament either, so I'm actually pretty happy to see Hakule Leimu rocking that Leo and getting the kill. Uh, by the way, Hakule Leimu is not from South Korea. Let me update the flag real quick. And here we go. Yep. <clears throat> a big follow-up of the guard point right there from Hakule Leimu. Yo. You can see being extremely aggressive. Kohide probably not used to fighting a Leo of that the caliber, I suppose. And here we go with the wall pressure. Okay, and here we go with Koide trying to... Oh, wow, that combo, though. That's probably... So, not that one guy. That's probably the reason why Hakule decided to play Leo, because the matchup is probably in their favor, I suppose. So, yeah. Uh, I'm prob And the fact of the matter is that in Japan... 
I, I, I probably said this like a zillion time, but in Japan we don't have a lot of Leo players. Uh, at least not a lot of good Leo players, and not a lot of Leo players in, in general. We literally have like one player, it's um, it's uh, Gessui. And apart from him, like there's almost no other Leo players. So it's really hard to get like matchup knowledge from this matchup because you don't have any people play Leo. Because nobody believes in the character in, in Japan, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, so it's, it might be, it's gonna be pretty harsh for uh, Kohide to deal with uh, a player of the caliber of Hakude Leimu playing Leo, I think. Tempest probably single-handedly pushing up, the oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. For sure, yeah, thanks to, like, I suppose that we have, like, a little bit more Leo representation, but we still don't have, like, a, a, a huge following and of believers of Leo potential in Japan currently. Why do you think Leo is so unpopular? I really don't know. Don't 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 ask me why, because <laughs> I don't share this opinion. I think Leo is good. Uh, I think he's he's being slept on in Japan currently. But uh, so I'm going to say something very controversial, and people are probably not going to agree with me, especially Eno players. But I I main Eno, and I think that Eno has the matchup over Leo. Personally, I think she has the matchup over Leo because she can save jump every single time. Uh, she can save jump Leo every single time she knocks him down, which kills. And for the only way for him to to prepare his DP is to push down, right? But Eno forces him to push up to rise in order to uh, to to block her mixes. So basically, uh, from that point, I think that Eno has like the advantage in the matchup personally. So I never really felt that Leo was overly strong because I've never really had problems dealing with Leo given to the fact that I think that the matchup is in, in favor of Leo and uh, of Eno. But recently I've started playing, uh, <laughs> I started playing, uh, what's his name, Slayer and I'm like, ah, oh, okay, that, that that's how it feels to play against Leo then. <laughs> yeah. So good stuff from uh, Kohide. We have one uh, matchup piece by the, the way. So this is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, uh, Hakure doing pretty good right now. Kohide trying to adapt and doing pretty good right now. Uh, but yeah, uh, for me, yeah, Leo is... Yeah, the, the DP, man. The DP covers such a... Such a... Such a distance, basically. It's really hard to make him whiff it. And that's probably the, the thing that is the most... The, the greatest thing that Leo has is, yeah, is definitely the distance that his DP covers. And it's really hard for people to bait it out. And that's, uh, yeah, that's probably the thing that I feel Japanese don't... Japanese players don't, like, utilize enough, like, to go completely ham and to DP, like, at really, really random moments and whatnot. I don't, I don't know. I really don't know. I personally don't know, but I think Leo is strong, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm... We don't have like we don't have a Tempest in Japan, or we don't have a Radzo in Japan, so I, I I don't know. But yeah, Tempest definitely showcased the the potential of the character. Anyways, here we go, and we are in the grand finals, and Koida definitely trying to work on a, a bracket reset right now, and doing very a very good job to do so uh, of doing so. He's gonna get the Vinasante and the kill at the same time. Kohide up 2 to 0 on the verge of resetting the bracket. Let's see how this pans out. Is he gonna be able to do so? We shall see in a couple of seconds. Okay, good. Stagger pressure right there from Kohide. Ah, Kohide with the whip punishes, yo! Go straight into the wild assault in order to get the extension. And the heavy uh, knockdown. We'll go with the safe jump. Ooh, that is a big whiff punish, and again, Kohide should be able to finish it with the Vatania. One, one round left, and the bracket will be reset. Let's see how this pans out. Good lord. Okay, finally, how good A little bit less uh, DP. Oh, wow, that freaking, that freaking tick, that freaking shimmy, though. The big guard point, but yeah, Kohide waking up with the DP, with the reversal. I'm sorry, not the DP. Okay, yeah, yeah. You can see the spacing of Kohide definitely a little bit more thought out, and this should be it for the bracket reset. 
Cool, he did, has successfully reset. Sorry for the wait. And here we go with Kohide and the. Oh wow, the counter hit. That being said, Hakone Lemu does have the advantage. He did take the first round, which unfortunately I couldn't see. <laughs> okay, here we go to close up pressure. Oh, Kohide, yo. Ah, good stuff from Kohide. Gonna get the wall break with the Ventania. Good drum. Good stuff right here. Got the spins out, and Koi did with the jump in. Getting uh, hit right there. Very nice block on the tab dust, though. Uh, goes for the side, uh, for the side dog. Cross up, point eight. Good stuff from Koi did. Okay, one round of peace. Who's going to take the very, very, very important first match? We shall see. Oh, Lord. Big jump in from Hagurele. This is pretty big, not going to lie. We're gonna close up pressure and Kohide waking up with the gold first. Gonna get the juggle right here with the Puente. And to the Ventania. This, is a, this did a lot of damage, by the way. Let's see if Kohide gonna go for an option select. Doesn't. And gets the. Yes. Oh, he got the bait on the burst straight into the Ventania. And Kohide takes the first match, yo. Taking the lead. Holy freaking lord! Kohide on fire! Is he gonna be able to take the the tournament tonight? We shall see. Let's see, let's see. Okay, nice whiff punish right there from Kohide. Forcing the burst from Hakure. Yeah, you can see yeah, Kohide with the ins and outs. And you can feel that Hakure is afraid of DPing right there because he knows that Kohide is trying to bait his DPs. Here we go, the jump in, and the fuzzy time. Very nice blocks, though, from... Ooh, big DP, finally, from Hakure. Hakure going for the grabs, though. Oh, he tried to go for the blue room and cancel. Ooh, catches back, dash for the closest, though. It's not over, though. Ah, oh, nice jump right there. Good lord, Hakure. This is not going to be enough to kill. Goes for the grab, though, the aerial grab, and gets it. Good stuff from Hakure. Akohide looks very clean today, yo. Extremely clean. Okay, and here we go. Oh, nice trade in favor of Kohide. Goes for the safe jump, but gets hit by the follow-up DP. And it's gonna be a big combo right there. Things are good, pretty bleak for this uh, this current matchup, this current match. Yeah, this is gonna be death. Or not, actually. I lied. Yeah, if anybody can make that. Ah, this is... No, I almost got the death. Wow. I almost got the whiff on three series. And the stun dipper for the kill, of course. When in doubt, stun dipper. <laughs> Take a step from Hakure. Puts one on the board. We have a tie, ladies and gentlemen. Hakure not going down without a fight. Mm. Nice with punish right there from Kohide. Maybe just a little stop. Just a bit, just a bit. <laughs> and here we go with the well break. Look at this. 50% of your life is gone, sir. What are you gonna do about it? Good lord. Ah, man. Big stun dip right there. Gonna do a lot of damage. Just enough to get the wall break. And here we go with the juggle. This should be it. Yeah. Get good stuff from Kohide. 
Okay, one more round for Koi to take the lead. Oh, nice backdash, yo. Ooh, this is a big counter hit. Ah, too far to get the follow-up, though. You hate to see it. Okay, good stuff right there from Kohide. Goes for the safe jump. Try to beat the DP, though. Ah. Uh. Okay, Hakure with the DP again. Should be able to get the wall break. Ooh, where are you? Good lord. Ah, man. Stun the for the win, yo. Ah, uh, the double points are too far to get the- Oh, but gets the juggle with the freaking Masante. And Kohide takes the lead. Two to one. One more match for Kohide. If, if he wins, he will be branded the new Ch Brojo Cup champion. Let's see how this pans out. A nice six spirit there from Kohide. Goes for the 2D. Kohide looking pretty good. Ooh, gets a counter hit. Kohide smelling blood, yo. Ah, Lord. Big 6P again. Ah, this is looking pretty good. Yo, and the freaking whip punishes are out of this world, yo. And should go with the Ventania. The whip punishes of freaking Kohide, man. I've been through the roof. Here we go to jump in. Tries to go out. Grab. Here we go. This is tournament points. If Kohide wins this one, he will win the tournament. Oh, that was a pretty unfortunate execution error right there from Hakude. Hakude ah, finally getting something in. Gets the grab. Let's see. Oh, Lord. Ah, Kohide forced to pop the burst, though. Ooh, getting hit by the Sunnipper, of course. Oh, good stuff right there from Hakule. Not going down without a fight. It could go either way, though, to be really honest. Oh, Lord. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Here we go with the follow of the optimization station. Are we going to see an OS? I feel like we are. Wow. Nice blocks, yo. Uh, oh, yo, and here we go, Kohide with the unstoppable pressure in the tournament. Is your